what's up honey buns it is helena and i'm back with another video if you are new to my channel welcome i am helena and i'm real af and if you are turning back to my channel hey foos so this video is podcast style i hope you guys don't mind if you guys don't already know brazil and i really connected through my reaction video by the artist Anita, a girl from Rio. So it's not really a coinkadink that I'm talking about another topic pertaining to Brazil, especially since all of my Explore pages are pushing a lot of Brazilian content. So I just so happened to go on Twitter, which I really don't care for Twitter like that because one minute you can either be laughing your ass off and then the next you're crying your eyes out. There's just no median with Twitter. Twitter can be a hot mess, but it can be informative if you do research. So the article I saw said in the early hours of Thursday, May 6th um, in Rio de Janeiro, the most deadliest police raid took place so like 200 heavily armed police and a helicopter with a sniper just like entered the city of Jacarezinho once they entered the city they were after the red command the red command is a large crime organization that were known for terrorizing neighborhoods and recruiting teens and children into their illegal activity so a lot of residences would describe how the raid went down as unjustifiable executions. And I gotta be honest with y'all, this is the real Helena and I can only be real. There is absolutely no way a person can read up on this raid that took place and not say, damn, you know, like it's disturbing. Yeah, the police did what they had to do, but they did it sloppily. They did it messily. Like, this is some Grand Theft Auto Call of Duty type of shit. And it's not. They are desensitized and it's scary. But are they the only ones? Hell no. Mm -mm. They're not the only police force that got issues. America, America's police force they got serious issues and other countries police force are a hot mess as well so globally something gotta freaking give because this was unacceptable there's just no way it had to go down like this no way the amount of trauma that those residences are feeling that community is going through it and whenever something scary and traumatic like this happens like that it lingers and it affects the community in the long run Oof. it's it's a lot it was very sad for me to read it and it's just it brings me to this like it's crazy how people think that we're so different it's crazy how you know different black people globally feel like we're just so different and we can't relate and we actually can't. Unfair treatment of like Afro people are widespread throughout the world. People might have thought that like I was being extra when I did my reaction video to um, Anita's A Girl From Rio. I touched on the representation because, you know, I like to see the black and brown people, okay? I like to see the black and brown people from all over the world, all right? Female representation and male representation, right? It's sad that there are places that are still trying to hide like Afro people from the media because like they believe that they aren't the standard of beauty or the standard of wealth or the standard of health even like it's ridiculous. Some instances are like blatant, like with the media. If you're a real one, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I know what we like to portray to you guys, but don't think it's not a hot mess over here because it is. And just seeing what took place in Brazil, it just has shown me like, okay, police reform needs to happen globally like i don't know what's going on like one thing that i always like make sure to do is to look at things 
from both angles. I don't like to just look at things one way. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's very healthy to look at things from all angles. And one thing I'm not here for is for people who don't have compassion or who are one-sided with compassion. One-sided people in general, like I'm just not here for because it's very disheartening to see people who aren't living like in the situation they haven't had the same lifestyle they you know they didn't have the same upbringing like I feel like you don't have to have that person's upbringing the same lifestyle to be in the same country as that person to have compassion for what the people are going through you feel me so it's sad when they aren't going just because they aren't going through it. They're looking at it from one angle and they're just disregarding the misconduct and only condemning those they view and the majority view as criminals. Let's just not assume that every person killed by the cop is either guilty, you know, and we really can't think that every single last cop is terrible either. And I feel like it's just dangerous to paint any group of people with just one brush. These conversations are tough. They're touchy. They're sensitive. And I'm here for the honesty and I'm here, you know, for the real conversations and dialogue. Not everybody is going to get it. And that's okay. Surround yourself with positive, rational people that like to look at things from every angle. A lot of people's egos like to be stroked. They just like to be fed the good yummy, 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 yum, yum, yum stuff. They like to just play dumb and oblivious to, you know, actual things going on. And no, bitch, I don't think that I'm Brazilian all of a sudden. But I'm just saying, like, what happened resonated with me and it just compelled me to have a little bit of a deeper conversation. But anyway, guys, I really hope um, that you are open to receive this video. I am here for authenticity and my real ones will stick, will stick around. Comment down below if you heard what happened in Jekka. Jacka Resinio, um, and you know your thoughts on it. Let's stay positive and respectful in the comment section. If you talking crazy and you're trying to spread negativity, best believe your ass will be blocked and deleted. Okay, because it's nothing but positive energy and vibes over here, honey. Also, my prayers go out to any and everybody affected in Jacarezinho, Rio de Janeiro. Sorry if I butchered these names, y'all. My Portuguese is not that well. But all right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.